Good morning. Today we're going to show you how to make a contact list in Outlook. So if you're in um, Edge or whatever browser you're using and you're logged into your um, Connections Northwest um, Microsoft 365, your Office account, um, and in Mail or Outlook, um, this is the home page for that. You want to go here to the People tab on the left, and that's going to take you to all of your contacts. So to create a contact list, this would be for creating a parent list, for example, um, using all your parent emails. And I should add that the reason why you create a new contact list rather than a new group is because groups can only be people in our organization. So connectionsnorthwest.org email addresses. So to create um, a contact list or a list of emails for outside our organization, you need to use a contact list, not a group. So you're going to go to new contact and select new contact list. You're going to name your contact list. So for example, I'm going to say high school prep writing um, and I could say parent list, for example, if I wanted to create a list of all my parent emails um, for emailing purposes. And then I can add email addresses um, as needed. Um, your parents' emails um, are not going to be in the Connections Northwest directory. You'll have to add them. Um, and although this takes some time, once you do it once, you never have to do it again. They're in your contacts. And in fact, um, if you have students in multiple classes or um, students from the same family in multiple classes and you're making your contact list, once you add the family once, then that email is in your contact list and you don't have to add it, add it again. You can just start, start typing the email and it will auto populate and you can just add them. So once you've added all the email addresses for your parents, um, you can um, add a description if you'd like um, of the class, for example, um, and then hit create. And once this is here, um, you can go into your contact list and see the list of all of your um, class contact lists. And this can be, um, again, um, for any particular reason group that you want to create. And then when you go to send your email and you want to create a new message, instead of having to type everybody's email in separately, you can just send it to your um, high school prep reading parent list um, and then send your email. And that's how you do that.